I've come to the bottom of the world here in Ushuaia. It's a really busy, kind of scruffy tourist town. There's a lot of things to like about Ushuaia. And this little meringue penguin is one of the many. Twenty kilometers outside of Ushuaia and Tierra del Fuego National Park. It's a pretty special place. So it's definitely worth a couple of days in Ushuaia before you head down to Antarctica. Later on today, it's my turn. I'm heading south on the Vavilov. That's it. It's time. Time to get on board and sail on out of here. And this is my cabin. See you later, Ushuaia. A little bit of a practice, just in case the vessel sinks. Up here on the bridge, crossing the Drake. It's starting to get cold now. Been pretty lucky so far. Nice smooth sailing, what they call the Drake Lake. And now I'm standing here trying to spot the first iceberg. Uh, that is getting cold. <laughs> that behind me is the South Shetland Islands. I've seen a fin whale this morning. I've seen some penguins. I've seen loads of birds. I'm crossing over the Bransfield Strait shortly and down to the Antarctic Peninsula. Very exciting. First morning in Antarctica. There it is, right there. Look at that, brilliant. Amazing day yesterday, loads and loads of whale sightings, plenty of seal sightings and of course penguins. We sailed overnight last night to this place, it's called Wilhelmina Bay um, and apparently there's supposed to be a lot of whales here.
What's the name of this place, Harry? Skonto. Yeah, look Norwegian to me. And there's a little harbour up here, Cove. Skonto Cove. Which yachts come into. So, I can definitely, definitely add this to the list of very cool things that I've done. This is my seventh continent. This is Antarctica and I'm standing on terra firma. Very pleased with myself. <laughs> Building penguins here in Paradise Harbour and throwing snowballs. <laughs> That's the end of another really cool day. The emotional catharsis is starting to wane. Good news, folks, off the starboard side of the ship at two o'clock. Not one, not two, but whales. Three humpback whales. Humpback whales everywhere, all around the vessel at the moment. Unfortunately, owing to the weather, we can't get outside on the zodiacs and go and explore properly. Um, however, Plenty of sightings through the windows and from deck. Yay. And we'll be sailing here for about the next two hours, sailing out on your bed. No, really? It took him all that time to get up. <laughs> to a kayak. Excellent news. Oh, is this the first time? Yeah, first time, man. Pretty pleased. Oh, look, porpoise and penguins. <laughs> That right there is called Deception Island. You can see it's quite rough out here. Oh, Unable to stop at Deception Island. The sea's just a bit too rough to come through those bellows and into the heart of the cauldra. Um, so what we're doing instead is heading north up the South Shetland Islands, hopefully make one more stop, and then this evening cross back over the Drake and to Ashwire. So I think this is the last Zodiac excursion that we're gonna do. This is Hannah Point and it's on the tip of Livingston Island. I believe we're going to get to see some chin-strap penguins. Have a look at that, chin-straps. Brilliant. Such a dramatic coastline. It's very different from Antarctica Peninsula, but Nevertheless, extremely beautiful. Very lucky to be here. Well, that's a really fantastic thing to end my voyage to Antarctica on. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of a party, a couple of beers tonight, but 11 seals, man, 2,000 kilos, huge monsters of animals, fantastic stuff.